In the age of information, ignorance is a choice. Our community is unaware of the sacrifices the indigenous group, the Mississauga of the Credit First Nation, has made by allowing us to use their land. Often, the First Nation community is subjected to stereotypes, cultural appropriation, and are denied equal rights. We bear the question, can we continue to be ignorant to the life and culture of the Mississauga of the Credit First Nations while continuing our own lives of privilege? Um, it was basically a genocide. Um, settlers came from Europe and um, tried to colonize, or did colonize, the country. Um, and they brought a lot of their systems with them and tried to enforce that. Um, a lot of violence happened. Indigenous people were tricked into kind of thinking that they would have like an equal give and take sort of relationship with the settlers and they were then taken advantage of. Um, I also know about the Canada's history of residential schools. Um, I think the last one closed in the 90s, which is insane. Indigenous people have been extremely disrespected. They've had their land stolen. They have not been seen as human for a very long time. Indigenous people also continue to struggle uh, living in Canada. I think in the world ranking, it would be about third. One of the top ranks, if not the first. But if we did include the indigenous people, I think it would drop down to about 10. Probably much lower, like maybe like 15 or 20. I did know that suicide rates were that high. Um, if you're living in poverty, if your land has been taken from you, it, it doesn't make the world easier for indigenous people. I did not know. I think the main reason for that is the lack of support that they receive from the government and the reserves that they live on, the living quality there. Oh, I had no idea. I guess this must be because of the struggle with drug and alcohol use. I guess maybe also because it's hard to find identity when you're living on a reserve. I don't think reconciliation has been reached at all. And I don't think the effort is genuine. I don't think people are trying to make it better. They could be doing a lot better of a job. I think that the government is putting out small fire after small fire when it comes to indigenous issues, but they're full, refusing to like fully face the situation um, and try to like mend it as a whole. Um, the fact that the government is actively refusing to listen to indigenous peoples and arresting them on their land for peacefully protesting says a lot. Um, I've heard a lot of negative things about the quality of life um, for an indigenous person and I feel like most of the problems uh, that they face could be easily fixed by the Canadian government. The government just chooses not to. I think it's a good initiative as long as it's properly respected. Uh, I feel like we could do more. I find it necessary to teach the next generation and the current generations that this was not our land and although we are grateful that we have it, it is important to acknowledge that it did belong to somebody else. I find it frustrating the way that they're done. I think it really needs to be driven home a lot more. It actually needs to be made an important part instead of just another thing you say at the beginning of things. I personally was not aware that we had an indigenous learning center on campus. I didn't know, and so I have not visited it, unfortunately. I did know that was that there was an indigenous learning center. I have not been. I'm only in first year, so maybe I'll go. I think this generation really needs to educate themselves, and I think just respecting them and you know, learning their history. I definitely think we need to get educated, um, but I feel like our communities could be more connected, like more than they are now. Raising awareness, the fact that people don't know all of these statistics is so awful, and all of us going into our future career paths needs to understand Indigenous issues and do what we can in each of our own separate ways, and our entire society needs to shift in a way to 
um, help. There are no excuses for our ignorance of the indigenous community. As we occupy the Mississauga of the Credit First Nations land, we must explore their culture, beliefs, and values, thus enriching our own lives and illuminating the world around us.